Okay, what is going on, guys? Um, video here today um, on the Tamfaglo Limited Custom. Done a few videos before on it, um, but today I'm going to be showing you how to do a full field strip. Um, before I've only showed you how to do a basic field strip. Um, but yeah, only seen one other video on how to do this by Chi Nature. Go check out his channel; it's amazing. Got some brilliant videos, um, really like helpful. Um, for beginners in the like gun community, I guess. Um, but yeah, um, to start off, I just want to say bye. Sorry for not uploading for two and a half months, I think, which is a long time. I'm very sorry. Um, but I've just been busy with schoolwork, and I'm sure most of you know that is more important um, than doing videos. Although videos are very more like very important to me as well. But yeah, let's get on with the video. So, to do a full field strip, what you start off by doing is taking out the mag, make sure that's always empty as well, but yeah, remove the mag. Um, now what you have to do is, on this side of the gun, there, that little point there, um, pull the slide all the way back, don't use the slide back, I'm just using it now to show you when it's all the way back, um, and on that button, when it's all the way back, you just want to push it so it like pops out. You can see there it's popped out the button. This slide lock, and then pull it out. It should have like a little spring on it. You see that spring there? But yeah, keep that safe. And now, some so you can't get the slide off without it getting stuck because of the floating barrel. But you can just hold it up. And it slides up and it slides off. Now you've got the low receiver. Um, leave that over there. Your main focus is the slide. That's where all the components are. Um, I recently cleaned this so you can see like the grease probably shining sometimes. But yeah, all you've got to do is this like spring or coil here on this bigger bit. If you can see it sticking out at the top, just pull it down like that, all the way to the bottom, like so, and then up here, this, push it forward and grab it, and then jiggle it about until the inner barrel comes out. You don't need much force, so be careful. Um, then you can pull this out. And now to get the outer barrel out, you need to get you need to get an Allen key, and just there, you can see like a little piece of metal in there. Because if you try and remove the barrel now, the outer barrel, as you can see, it won't come out past there. So put it back in, and just. push out this little metal thing and when you put it back in have this smaller side you can see it goes smaller make sure that smaller side goes in first and now you can take out the outer barrel and um, earlier today I've polished down the piece of metal which is shown by the ejection port which is polished up nicely. Um, just a bit of sandpaper, fine sandpaper, um, white spirits, and um, wetting the sandpaper. And then a bit of polish at the end makes it look really nice. But yeah, now you've done all this to put it all back together. There's just the front. Get your outer barrel, put it in at an angle like so. Slide it in until it's back in that position. Get this little bit of metal, put it back in that way, and then get your Allen key and push it back down until it's at the front again. As you can see, put your spring back in and hold it all the way at the front. Slide your outer barrel forward. Get your inner barrel 
and place it inside of the outer barrel and just jiggle it about till it's back in. And then once you can see it's all in there, just get the inner barrel slid back onto that piece of plastic there, that ridge, it's hard to see without the lighting. Push back onto there, move the outer barrel like back, let that spring go back in, like so. Push the outer barrel back in, like that, and it's all back to normal. You can see that looks really nice, that effect, so try it if you want. It's all perfect at the front. Put it back onto the lower receiver, just slide it back on with the rails, which is kind of hard to do on camera. Again, hold it up and it'll go on perfectly. And then just hold it back, hold the slide all the way back, get your little slide lock. Push it in. And now, as you can see, there's that little spring and like a hole there. Try and get a good view on it. But anyway, just push the little point on the spring into that hole, like that push the slide lock in sometimes it won't go in the first time and then you will fail at this first time trust me you just got to keep trying push it in push in up and then once you've got it up there with the spring on you can push it back in Again, hold it up, let the slide come up to the top. Safety on. Mag back in. And um, yeah, it's all back together. So um, you can do this full field strip for um, better cleaning and to get a better understanding of the gun. And like I've done, polish down to the ejection port, which looks nice. Um, but yeah. The only way I learned how to do this is by Chi Nature, so go check out his videos. Um, the link for his channel will be in the description below. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video. Bye.